Chapter 19 deals with this idea of voltage. There are a couple other words that describe pretty much the same thing and for our purpose we'll treat them as the same. You might also hear things like potential difference or even just simply electric potential. And they're all described by the variable V measure in volts, which is also a V. Essentially, the electric potential is related to the potential energy. Similar to how the electric field is the electric force divided by charge, the electric potential is the electrical potential energy divided by the charge. So electric field is quote-unquote normalized force. Electric potential or voltage is normalized energy. So flipping this around, you can re-express the electrical potential energy as Q times V, wherever you define V equals zero is. Seeing how this is an energy related problem, let's do a before and after pictures. In this case, we're either speeding up an electron or a negative hydrogen ion, so some kind of negative particle, and we have a certain potential setup. Uh, easiest way to picture is if you imagine there's a whole bunch of negative charge on this one plate and a bunch of positive charge on this one plate with a little hole in between so that the electron can fit through as we as it flies through out of here then you can see that the electron will want to fly towards a positive plate and it'll gain some speed so after it'll end up minus plus 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 it'll end up over here with a huge amount of speed. So if you like to track things like we've always done, we can track that you start with no speed and then you end up with some unknown speed. That's what we're interested in. And the initially we can say that the V equals zero over here, just like you can say height equals zero wherever we want. And then it gains some amount of voltage or potential difference. In this case, gravity should not matter because the electric forces are going to be so much bigger, or you can imagine it as being horizontal. It's not going to make any difference at all. Again, we write our energy balance equation. This time, of course, highlighting the fact that we're using electrical potential energy instead of gravitational. Sometimes it's both, but not in this case. There are no non-conservative forces because it's flying through space and the only force on it is the electric force, which is conservative. So that goes away. And it's just a matter of putting these things in. We got zero for the, the first two things. And we have one half mv2 square plus that. And you want to find out the speed, you isolate and solve. So we have negative qv2 multiply by 2, divide by m, it's equal to v square. So the final v would be that. And in this case, it looks kind of funny because there's a negative sign out here, but you remember that it's a negative ion. So there's a negative in there once we sub it in. In fact, we know that q is equal to negative the elementary charge, which is 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. I won't write in this time. I'll just keep it as E for now like that, just because in this particular case, they tend to cancel out. Okay, so that's how we get the speed given the voltage and the mass. Now, we have two different situations. We have the E minus case and we have the negative hydrogen iron case. The only difference is the masses are different and they want the ratio between these two things. And as you can imagine, the electron is much, much, much lighter. And so the velocity should be quite a bit higher. So here the mass would be the electron's mass and on the bottom, will be the hydrogen's mass that's given to us. And this one we can look up as the 
that amount. They are going through the same voltage, so that's why the V2 are exactly the same. These guys all cancel out, and then you're left with MH minus and E minus because it's multiplying by a reciprocal when we divide. So the electron will be 42.8 times faster than the hydrogen ion will be going through the same potential or in the words I use, voltage. They are largely equivalent. So just to show you how electrical potential energy can play with kinetic energy and other types of energy because they're all just energy. One thing to remember is when you sub it in, make sure you are aware of the sign of the charge because if you keep that consistent, everything's going to work out.